welcome to Mama Ruth's house. So glad you stopped in. And I know everyone is excited about the holidays coming up. So today's episode is going to be crustless pumpkin pies. These are zero Weight Watcher points and delicious. This is something you can make and take with you to a potluck or a uh, gathering with family. It'll be, it's delicious and it's guilt-free. Um, I chose to make them, I'm going to make four little pies, but it makes one nine inch pie, uh, pie. So you just spray your, um, pan with the cooking spray. It comes together really easily. We're going to be using the stevia, a half a cup. We're going to use almond milk, the unsweetened almond milk, a pumpkin. Can't have a pumpkin pie without the pumpkin. Um, we're going to be using nutmeg, cinnamon, and pumpkin pie spice. And I'll have the, the um, how much down in the, the comments. The and vanilla and two eggs so with all that being said it's so easy you're gonna see let's get together let's put you down here so you can see what we're doing i'm just gonna go ahead and put it in mix it together in one of these uh in my uh, glass measuring cup because then i can just pour it in here i think it'll be a little bit easier Going to put my can of pumpkin. If you ate the whole pie, it would be one point. I did the math just to see. I was curious. I hope everyone is ready for Thanksgiving and, and the holidays and visit with your family and Christmas. This is a good one for Christmas. We eat uh, pumpkin pie either either time, Christmas or Thanksgiving. It's just the holiday. It's this time of year. Okay, I'm going to add my cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice, and nutmeg. My vanilla. My eggs and my almond milk and my stevia sweetener. So this, like I said, it comes together very easily. I'm just going to mix that right up. Where I preheated the oven to 375 for a nine inch pie. It bakes at um, about 40 to 45 minutes, but for the smaller ones, I'm going to start checking them probably in about 25 or 30 minutes just to see how it, how they do. I'm anticipating they'll probably take about 30 to 35 minutes, but we'll see. And I'll make sure that I, I put that in there in case you do decide to make little small pies. You can use your mixer if you'd like. It's totally up to you. I'm, I'm making some eggs in my, some boiled eggs in my Instant Pot. So if you hear some noise over there, that's what's going on. I don't know if you saw the episode with the eggs, but I am telling you what, I never make eggs, boiled eggs any other way. They come out perfect every single time. We're going to just mix this up. It smells yummy.
going to dump some in each one. Just going to eyeball it. I will uh, come back and fill them up, but that's what I'm going to start with. It's almost like a pumpkin custard, huh? So I've eyeballed them just to sort of make it look like they're about even. And I'm going to wipe anything excess off. I don't want that to burn on the outside. Okay, my oven is preheated. We're going to go ahead and put these in. This is how they look. They're so cute. And we'll be back. Okay, we are back. Our pies have cooled. They took about 30 minutes exactly, and they just turned out so stinking cute. Can't wait to try it. These are zero points. You could actually eat all of these for one point. Let's get trying. Oh, I'm going to see how it comes out. Let's see how it, it cuts. I'm just going to take out a piece to try. Oh, and it comes out nicely. It, the reason that I didn't, I haven't let it sit long enough, it's still a little bit warm, but I think it'll be perfect. <laughs> little tiny piece of pie. So we're going to try this. Let me push it, push up. We're going to try this. You could put um, the no fat uh, Cool Whip. Mmm, super yummy. You know what? It's like a custardy pumpkin. Yeah, it's not. It's not bad at all. I would do this in, in lieu of. Um, pumpkin pie. It's delicious. And with that being said, I want to thank you again for supporting me and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate it. Share. And until next time, make a fantastic day. Bye. Mm -hmm.